Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. Space weather, geophysical events, including floods, earthquakes, and volcanoes. We'll have climate science, Earth's magnetic pole shift, and new videos from Sky Scholar. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. First note is that the solar wind is modest. The enhancement of a coronal hole stream is not present in the data, and so auroral displays overnight were not what many expected. The departing sunspots released a few flares and CMEs, which are visible on SOHO coronagraphs, but as they turn out of view, the development of the central spots on the south continued. The active region has seen a bit of instability, but has withheld eruptive activity thus far. We'll also be monitoring a new sunspot group in coming on the north. A small flare at this active region destabilized a filament out ahead of it. Lots to watch as we enter the middle of the week. Many of you heard about the eruption of Mount Merapi in Indonesia. There were a lot of hikers on the mountain when it blew, and nearly two dozen are confirmed dead as of this morning. Several others still unaccounted for. The flooding and landslides in Tanzania are pretty terrible at the moment. Over 60 people have died in those events over the last few days as the seasonal rains were exceptionally extreme there. While aftershocks are continuing in the Philippines, the most notable quake of the last day was a five-pointer in Hawaii, quite above average there and hopefully not indicative of volcanic unrest at the Big Island. Interesting claim up next as climate scientists openly admit there is no consensus on how we look at global temperatures and therefore a problem in determining long-term warming levels. They propose a solution, but I propose we consider how many definitive statements that community has made on the record this and warming that without such a consensus. Up next, folks, this article gets about a C plus if I'm doling out grades. It mentions the active shift of Earth's magnetic field and how dangerous it is for our vulnerability to space weather and for ozone destruction, but there are several failings in the article which I hope to address in a special video soon. Check it out and see if you can spot what they are. Lastly, folks, our great friend, Dr. Pierre-Marie Robitaille at Sky Scholar has several new videos out since we last featured his channel. It is one of the best channels in the world that you can watch on the science of the stars. Link is below. Don't forget to get tickets to our big event in Northern Phoenix, January 13th. It's an in-depth observer event with special guests, and we would love to see you out there. Tickets found at the link below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.